Previously, in Breaking Point. Aiden, please tell us, how does it feel to be on the verge of getting behind the wheel for your very first race? I feel like a little kid. I look around and I'm surrounded by my heroes. And tell me about Casper Ackerman. How is that relationship coming along? It wasn't my fault. Well, whose fault was it then? He tried to stop them from signing you. Didn't want to play babysitter. We all feel sorry for you, mate. You never stood a chance with him. I had a call this morning from Christian Horner. You're being watched. You know what his problem is, don't you? Thinks you're getting too old. You want respect, you give respect! That's how it works! How about you give me a little respect? How about you earn it first? I'm done. You what? I'm retiring. Why didn't it work out between you two? He's on more money than me. What? He didn't want me on the team. Didn't I? And you thought I was past my best. So none of this is true? There's always gossip in the paddock. And ever since he's arrived, there's been one man at the center of it all. I want us to push for fourth. I want us to beat Butler. And I want that seat to go to you. So Alfa Romeo potentially on track to really upset Alfa Tauri here. Butler's closing in on Ackerman. Down the inside he goes, and they hit each other. Butler into the barrier, and that looks to be the end of the race for him. The Dutchman looks to be continuing at. It's great to see him still in this fight, Crofty. Good the third, eight. What about Katzba? We let Aiden pass. Let Aiden pass. We did it. We did it. Have you seen the crash? Butler's okay? Bruised ego, perhaps. <laughs>